47549 KitchenAid 7 Blade Spiralizer Plus with the peel, core, and slice blades. Now, you're getting two new blades, and you're also getting some old favorites in the pack up today. But this is all about that spiralizing trend. We love incorporating more vegetables into our dishes. We love being able to get the kids to maybe eat a little bit smarter, but you know what? I've got to trick myself sometimes. <laughs> and anytime I can sneak some vegetables into my dishes, let's do it. But I want you to think about potato salads. I want you to think about making those apple pies in the fall. This can do it evenly and faster and smarter. And oh, by the way, all the blades can go into your dishwasher. Hello. So let me show you. We've had the spiralizer here at QVC before. And in the past, you're getting the spiralizer attachment itself. You got two spiralizing blades, and you also got two great slicing blades that had corers on them as well. Here's the thing. Now, come up top with me here because you're getting more. This is the plus. So I'm also getting the thin spiral slice with the small core blade, and I'm also getting the extra fine spiralizer blade. So I can do little capellini size veggies if I wanted to. It all comes in this beautiful box, and I'm going to turn this around to show you that everything you need to know is right there on the back of the box. This is a beautiful presentation, but it's also a beautiful storage case when it is not in use, which is going to become less and less often, quite frankly. Let's talk about the value on this offer today. It's our QVC2 big deal. Now, our retail value is $125.32. Our QVC2 big deal price is $79.96. It's on four easy payments of $19.99, and it's on free shipping and handling. This is KitchenAid on free shipping, and you're saving $65 by shopping for it here at QVC2 today, but that price goes up at 8.59 Eastern Time. If you are a KitchenAid spiralizer, we would love to talk to you. Our testimonial line is 800-600-1556. Also, if you already have the previous spiralizing kit, you can buy those two new blades separately on QVC.com if you want to add to your collection. Tina Varelli is here. I'm so excited. Love spending time with you, Me sweet lady. Too. I'm um, so excited. Not only is Tina a mom who's trying to feed her kids a little bit more veggies, but she is also, mm -hmm. and I know she hears this all the time, it's just, it has to, you just got to think, I know what's coming next. <laughs> She is the 2012 Pillsbury National Bake Off champion. And when you think about that competition and how it is nationwide, it is a reputable competition. Think about it, Tina won the whole thing. <laughs> this is a lady that knows her way around the kitchen. And you actually used a KitchenAid in the competition, didn't I you? I did. That's I used amazing. the hand mixer. So cool. Mm -hmm. um, but Tina is going to walk us through everything this can do. And while we're having a casual conversation, yes. you just made a mound of zoodles. I did. Look at that. So this I made with our new extra fine spiralizing blade. I also call these the noodle blades because look at this <laughs> mound of vegetable noodles. It is almost like you said, like that angel hair oh, texture, yeah. that capellini. I am loving this right now because if you add a hot ingredient to it, you almost don't need to cook it at all, which totally. makes it even a simpler way to get more veggies in your diet. We had ramen bowls this week. My girls love to have those. Put some of these in the bottom of your bowl, pour that hot broth over top, and you're done. Oh, I'm so in. <laughs> um, I think about it this way, too. You know, we always talk about ways to preserve those tastes of summer right. into the fall and winter. Mm -hmm. If I freeze a whole zucchini, I'm not going to look at it in the freezer t three months from now and no. think, well, that looks fun. But if I spiralized it yes. and then did a little food saving of it, mm -hmm. that would be so fun to bust out in the winter time. It is. And it's such a great time of year now, too, with all the vegetables. Yes. Some people have those TSA subscriptions, you know, where you get the farm deliveries. Oh, that's right. yeah. Think about all the produce that's out right now. So, I wanted to show you two of the different noodle blades so that we could kind of compare the thicknesses. Because with the plus now, you're getting three different thicknesses of those noodle blades. So, you can see that one is a little bit a thicker. Let me show you that compared to this. I'm still on the same one. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to go to another zip code, Tina. Look okay. <laughs> Look how fun this is. Look how much I'm not a help in the kitchen. 
That is so much fun. And that's the thing. You should have fun that's in the kitchen. Fun. And if prepping your vegetables is more fun, you're going to eat more vegetables. So let's take a look so here. Fun. So here's that new extra fine spiralizing blade next to what we just did. This is the fine spiralizing blade. So really, you get great different textures. If we can come down here in the front, okay. let me show you just an example of everything you're going to be able to do. So here are your three noodle cutting or spiralizing blade. Here's that new extra fine blade. That's that yellow squash. Here is a purple sweet potato in that fine spiralizing blade. And here that zucchini was cut with the medium spiralizing. So you get three different choices three different textures and sometimes it's just the texture that you know encourages you to try something new and to like it. I honestly did not like zucchini or beets I remember you before I started spiralizing and you know what I realized? I realized it was the texture. I don't like that seedy center of okay. those vegetables so this takes that away and all you're left with is that beautiful more kind of meaty texture. Yeah. So I love that. So those are the three spiralizing blades. Here are the three slicing blades. This squash was cut with the large core. So it took out all that seedy center and you're left with just that kind of meatier portion of sure. the squash. Here is your new um, thin slicing blade with that cucumber. What a beautiful, crispy, crunchy, refreshing cucumber salad you can make with that. Delicious. And here's butternut squash. So cool. I love this. I it's heard just Rachel so Bo fun to play say with. to you last night, it looks like a slinky. <laughs> it does. We were talking really about does. they could be like birthday decorations in your house. So cute. So this was cut with our regular small core slicing blade. So you can see all the different options that you have yeah. and it's just fun and just a great way to get more veggies into your diet. The thinner the cut of the veggie too, you'll be able to taste more of what you're cooking it in. Right. So if you've been saving those fancy oils, you want to try right. avocado oh, oil. Oh, good that idea. That is, use that thinner mm -hmm. slice in the veggie. Right. If you are looking to do a pie and in the past you've been really frustrated because your apple pies aren't cooking all the way right. through, probably because the slices weren't even. Yes. And so now you can get that consistency and be the pro level that you were looking to kind of right. bump it up this year, Paracene is on the phone. Right. And I would love oh, to say hi to her. Um, please, please, Paracene, am I saying your name properly? Yes, you are. Oh, yes. Oh, I got to oh. meet Paracene on you? a tour, and I want to wish <laughs> yeah, you a belated happy birthday, oh, sweetie. Oh, so nice. Oh, okay. well, thank you. I had a ball on the tour, Aww. and I enjoyed meeting you as well. Aw, thank you for coming to see us. That's so nice. Yes, yes. Um, Paracy, are you a spiralizer? I am. Ooh. I mean, I do, you know, put the onions and make the onion strings. I do um, the apples and the pears, everything. Oh, how fun. And yes. it's a lot of fun. And I had never had homemade sweet potato fries until I got this. Mm -hmm. Yum. And right? I finalized them, and oh my goodness gracious, <laughs> I have to be careful. <laughs> oh, no. I hear you. Because I overdo it. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. But yeah, I get it, it. it is a wonderful product. So let me ask you this, Paracene. When you got it home, was it tough to figure out, or was it pretty intuitive? It was okay. It, it was no problem hooking it up to the machine and Good. putting all the parts on and everything. As a matter of fact, when I first got it, it was for a Christmas present um, from my husband. And I, said, well, and I, you know, you put stuff on the shelf and you kind of forget about it. Sure. And then one day I was kind of straightening out my closet. I said, well, you know what? I need to use this. This money just sitting there going to waste. Right, and, right. And I've been using it every. Oh, that's so, so anybody awesome. sitting on the fence on this one, they need to get off the fence and go ahead and call in. Yeah. I love mm -hmm. it. Paracene, thank you so, so much for calling in today. I want to echo Tina's sentiments and just say, wish you a happy belated birthday. Yes. And oh, trust me, uh, it was an experience. <laughs> one I've been looking forward to. For my daughter set me up. That was my birthday present. Oh, oh that's come for And the something would always get in the way. Oh, I love this it. This time... No, and see, we live about three and a half hours apart. Okay, and you got to come see us. I went to her us. house, from what her an house, honor. we came to your house. What an honor. Well, you know what? That is an honor for us, too. So, mm -hmm. thank you, thank you, thank you for coming to see us, for spending your time with Can us. Can I say one more thing? Yes, please. When you see David, 
Yes. Tell him I was looking for him. I oh. will. <laughs> and I'm going to pass on a big old parasite hug to him. Uh-huh. Great. I took a picture with the cutout. Oh, yay. <laughs> <laughs> Parasine, thank you so, so much. I'll pass on your well wishes to David. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Bye, Bye, -bye now. Bye. I love it. She's so, so sweet. She's lovely. I want to mm -hmm. pop up a picture of all of the blades that we're oh, getting. Oh, perfect. So if somebody is tuning in right now, mm -hmm. I want you to know that this is exactly what you're getting. Are these the two new ones? It is. That we're going to see oh, first. Okay. okay. Here comes the four original, I okay, think. Okay, great. So here are the four original blades. You have up at the top left, fine spiralizing. Looks like there's some zucchini cut with that. Medium spiralizing. Great for those sweet potato curly fries Parisine was talking about. There's a spiral slice small core. That's great for beets. That's how I discovered I like beets. And then that spiral slice large core. That is so great for apple season. It's going to make quick work because this spiralize is motorized. You're not twisting it by yourself with your hand. Isn't and now, lovely? here are the two new blades. That extra fine spiralizer, that's that kind of capellini cut. And below that is that thin slice small core, great for cucumber salads. And don't forget, you also get a peeler. Now the peeler can be used it's alone true. for all those potato salad, peeling potatoes, or it can be used in conjunction with any of the six blades. Thank you for that. It mm -hmm. comes in this beautiful box. Yes, it's lovely presentation, but this is also beautiful storage. Mm -hmm. And if you ever get the box down off the shelf like Parisine yes. did, and you think, oh, I don't know which one to use, it's all listed for you right, right there on the back of the box. But I'm going to turn around and show you. Oh, I love this. Look at this gorgeous presentation on the inside. Oh. The, I, know. <laughs> I think we saw a little rays of light <laughs> popping out. All of those blade attachments are dishwasher safe. They are. And that price tag is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So out at retail could cost you $125.32. Here on QVC2, this is our big deal. Yes. So you know it's going to be good. <laughs> You're saving almost $65 today. Wow. And it's $79.96 in total. You can have the option of easy pay for easy payments of $19.99. And it's free shipping and handling. But curly fries, zoodles, apple pies, potato salad, we've got to know what to do when mm -hmm. we get it home. And also begs to repeat that this will fit any stand mixer. Right, so behind this little silver medallion that has that KitchenAid name, that name that has been around for almost a hundred years since 1919, behind that is this magical little hub and you see that square spinning around on the inside. That is where you're going to plug in over 10 different attachments that turn your awesome KitchenAid stand mixer into the culinary center of your kitchen yes. and all kinds of magic can happen like from there. Like how you say that. <laughs> It's the magic port. So let me show you how you plug that in. So this is the spiralizing arm. You can see it has kind of a square um, nub at the end. You're going to fit that into the square of that attachment hub. And you just kind of twist it around until it fits into that square. And then you tighten the thumb screw on the side of your stand mixer. And now it's motorized. So I'm going to use the peeling blade to install that. You're just going to slide that into the slot at the bottom until that clicks into place. I'm going to show you how to use the large core slicing blade. All you do is put that into place, click it. And then you have this spring-loaded um, lever here that allows you to move this up and along that carriage. Let's take an apple here. So I just insert the skewer into the end of the apple and the skewer has a slot. You want to just line up the slot and then give it a twist. Then press on that, that spring-loaded piece until it comes up to meet the center of the fruit. Then you're going to turn on the power of your stand mixer and look how it's going to peel core and slice an apple all at the same time. It just neatly takes off that peel. It. And you know what? You could sprinkle these with cinnamon sugar and eat them or even talking. bake them and make them a little bit crispy. You don't have to waste anything. What if you had a bowl of warm caramel dip oh. and you set up the apple slices around the outside like a shrimp cocktail? How about that? I love it. <laughs> I'm just hungry. And look at those gorgeous even <laughs> slices that you're getting. Try to do that with a knife. 
You know, oh, I'm a home cook. I don't have perfect knife skills, but with this, I can get them. You can make baked apples, fill that with some brown sugar, raisins, and nuts, put that right in there. It would look like a little 